Alright guys, it's Hitran here, the unnecessary programmer and welcome to my channel where I optimize daily aspects of my life that for sure don't need any optimization. In today's video we are creating test classes for our Java DTOs. Imagine that! Nah, just joking! We are actually creating a Python script that is going to generate those test cases for us. If we are, if we are writing useless code, at least let's do it in style. Let's create a new Maven project. We are using Maven because it's convenient for importing libraries. Create a new customer DTO and add some business logic to the getters. A quick disclaimer, you should always test your DTOs, but through your business logic. But in the cases that you are pretty lazy and you want to get some code coverage, here's the good stuff. For the Python app, you need to have two folders, input and output. In the input folder, we are going to place the class and then in the output, we are going to generate the test class. First thing that we need to do is gather all the file names under the input directory. Then we are going to open in read mode every file and extract the name without the extension. We will use the current class name to create an output file and we are going to open it in write mode. Next thing we need in the output test files are the imports. I am using the package from the input file as a marker so I can dynamically insert all of the needed imports for the test class. Hey, just a reminder, gently tap the like button and the subscribe button. Also, feel free to let me know what you think of the videos in the comment section down below. Don't forget to add the dependencies in your POM files. After we are done with the imports and declarations of the class, we are going to trace all of the private fields in the current input class. From the private field, we extract the variable type and name, so we can use it in a separate function that will generate multiple test cases. It's time to start working on our test cases. We are adding some AI if statements to check for the type and initialize the variables in a specific way. Feel free to extend the list as you see fit. For this example though, I chose not to include all of the available types.
That's it, we are done. Let's check out our cut coverage. Thank you everyone for watching. Please let me know if you have some unnecessary ideas that you want me to cover. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye for now.